It's murder and mayhem here in Dolnik. Holy crap, dude. Oh, don't run over him again. <sighs> Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Overthrow Livonia. Civs are on a rampage. It's just Arma AI being Arma AI. Is this dude dead? Yeah, rip. Gonna revive him. Oh well. Life goes on. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Let me get you caught up. It is early morning here. I forget what day it is, but it's it's been at least a day since the last video. And what I've done is I lost my voice. <clears throat> no, we're good. I went up to Giralto. I may not be saying that right. And I sold some stuff, got some money. I've actually set up a couple fobs. I've got an observation post up here by the gas station. I took out this checkpoint. I did a little test run with my mortar. Took almost everybody out with the mortar and then finished them off. So that is now despawned since I killed everything. Got some loot there, and then also set up a fob right here, just so we have view down the road here in case somebody sneaks in on one of these side roads or something. Got uh, th three or four guys at each one of those. Looks like I've got four there. Five up here, maybe? Yeah, five up here. So those are manned, and they provide intel to Observation Post does, so I guess that's why I can see friendly forces on there. I assume if they spot enemy forces, I would see the enemy forces as well. But the stability is getting pretty low up here. It's down to 24. NATO FOB has moved in, we were told by the citizens. So I think today, I'm going to try to sneak up there and get rid of that FOB with the mortar. And then see if we can't get this down into Anarchy. And uh, in preparation for taking it over. And then we'd have another town on our side. I think that's the thing to do. We've got the Polana over here. A bandit camp is still an issue, but we still have eight policemen, so they're hanging in there. So I think we'll try to get this town, get a little more money and support coming in, and then after that, we'll be working on these military bases, probably starting with this one. Try to get that eliminated. But let me get packed up. I'm going to get the mortar and everything. And I'll head up towards Duralto. And let me jump there. Alright, I've got the mortar and the UAV loaded. I've got Rosolo with me. So if we need to do some looting, hopefully we can get that done. Here's the first fob. It actually just put a bunker down here. I forgot. I can still see friendly forces. I guess I can just see my friendly forces on the map. This is kind of the last line of defense here before you get to the town. I wanted to get some AT and anti-air, but I just can't afford it yet. It costs a lot of money. I think a medic is like $35,000 for some reason. It's pretty crazy. Anywho, I'm going to head on up. I'll see you in a bit. We are going to be going right past this other observation post. So I'll show that real quick. It's an actual like green tower. There's five dudes around here somewhere. There they are. First line of defense right here by the gas station. Speaking of gas, uh, we're doing all right. You can see there's no longer a checkpoint here. North we go. Up here by the town, I was actually gonna try to put a camp down. I don't know if I'm far enough away. Yeah, I'm going to put a camp down here just for a fast travel point. As we work on this town. There we go. Now we can fast travel up here. So I plan to put Zolo somewhere where he can kind of keep these guys spawned in. I'm going to back off a bit. So I don't know if I can stick him over around that intersection somewhere, if that'll work. Go take a look.
I'm hoping all the gang members are gone from this town. I did take out their leader. Last time I was up here, there were a couple stragglers, I think, and they recognized me. But the server's been restarted since then. So I'm hoping we don't get recognized. Got some police presence back in the town. They've got me spotted. Just walk around on the road there, buddy. This fob is over here in a field. I could also send up the UAV for spotting. Can't get Rosolo in a good position. Could also do some BDA with the UAV. Yeah, I think if he's standing right over here, he'll keep those guys spawned in. Actually, sit on that bitch? No, he's going on the other side of the wall. That works for me. Alright, then I want to go probably down here somewhere. Off this road. Out of sight. We'll get the mortar set up. Yeah, this shouldn't be close to anything. checkpoint down there. Well, not going that way. Try this other road. I definitely don't want to be line of sight to them. For obvious reasons. Also don't want to go through a checkpoint with uh, mortar and stuff in the truck. That would not turn out well. So I did spend some of my influence. I had, I think, 30 influence. And you can upgrade your character with that. I'll show that when we get out of the truck. I basically put a point into each of the three things you can upgrade. All right, let's try setting up like right here. Shouldn't be observable by anybody. If we go here to character sheet. So I'm now level two fitness. I can sprint a little further. And I'm level two trade. So we can get a little better purchasing price. And then level two stealth. Well, that's back to less chance of NATO finding illegal items. When I upgraded that, it went to level two and it said less chance of being recognized by like gangs in NATO. I think that's what level three in stealth is. But now we need a hundred influence to upgrade past level two. So that's in the future. <laughs> All right, nobody can see us, hopefully. This mortar set up. But it's two bags. This is the bipod. So we'll throw that on the ground. We'll grab the tube. We can assemble that. There we go. I think I'll just lob some shells over there and then check with the UAV. So we're going to get in as gunner. Go to artillery computer. So we're on close. We're going to need to go to medium. We should be able to hone on that. And I'm hoping they don't 
immediately know where I'm at. Get the UAV out. Need to connect the terminal. Yeah, I'm going to send that off over there. At some point, I had a camera view on my main view. I'm not sure how that works. See if he'll go to there and then go up to 200 meters and get a good view. Yeah, it looks like it's climbing. The uh, little drone guy is... Uh-oh. They spotted it and they actually shot it down. Ah, uh, I thought it would be far enough away from anything. That sounded like it came from that checkpoint. Okay, I guess that was within range. I should have went a little further south. All right, well, lesson learned. There's 330 bucks or whatever it was down the drain. Well, for good measure, let's send a couple more uh, mortars over there. And artillery computer. Should have marked where I thought that outpost was. Was it right there by that road? Might just throw some shells over there too while we're at it. Let's get loaded back up and we'll go see what we did. Carry all back. Now we're back to just being an innocent delivery truck. I'm glad that darter was pretty cheap. I think it was like $329, something like that. It wasn't that expensive. I can just buy those from my warehouse. So I should have realized those static machine guns at the checkpoint, and at the FOB for that matter, will have a pretty good range all right they're alert i think maybe i see a guy down yeah we got some of them statics are still up Okay, well, we did a little bit of damage. Let's go see what we did to the fob. I don't think I can see the fob from here. At some point, I think I can hire mortar teams, maybe. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. 
about the higher stuff we can do. Once we get more money and whatnot to deal with. Ooh, it's a little off the marker, isn't it? It's a little closer to the road this time. I'm not sure I did any damage there. Because I was going by where the marker was. Oh no, we killed a bunch of people. Right on. Oh yeah, that static there is unmanned. Okay. I'm going to park this over here. Make sure he's going to stop. Not go anywhere. Put him on stop. All I have is an AK. But if those statics are down, we might be able to finish this fob off. There were a lot of dead bodies over here. I think there were three statics, maybe. Let's see if I can get down behind this building, do a little recon. Somebody was asking in the comments about third person. I do have third person available. I just, I like first person for battling. It feels more immersive. So usually I'll be playing in first person. Yeah, I think maybe all the statics are unmanned. See if we can do a little uh, recon before we pull the gun out. I saw a dude in a green uniform patrolling somewhere. I don't really see is that dude. I know there's at least one over, one other somewhere. The stock unfolded, it should be a little more. A little more stable, maybe? Let's see that guy from here. Put the bush there. Darn it. to shoot where I thought his head was. Yeah, that's a no-go. There's at least one other over there. Yeah, I think I got that guy. Where's the other dude? He goes prone in this stuff, I'll never find him. Oh, there he is, right there. Wow, I just wonder I didn't get killed. That was a dude, I don't know if that was the dude. This guy's just injured. Cleared NATO fob. Awesome. This wanted status clear. Throw my gun in my backpack. Let's see if we can get Rosolo out here to gather up all this gear. 
And I'm curious if the messages from a solo will work. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I actually turned off a couple of client side mods. I think it was unit voiceovers. See if that was interfering. So I'll be curious to see if they work consistently now. Because the little messages you get were also not working for the NATO checkpoints. So you just kind of had to guess when you were supposed to stop and what they were saying. So that mortar is awesome. You can do some hit and run with the mortar. Luckily that fob wasn't really well established yet. I had quite a few dudes there, but not many in placements. And then I'm hoping that affected the town. Let's go check. Uh, stability is actually was it 26? Might have been 26%. Anyway, it didn't affect it a lot. Let's see if we can get Rosolo in here. There we go. Good job, dude. Let's go get the loot. Uh oh, we're under observation. Or if that's from the town or the checkpoint. observation let's see if we can get him to loot we're good good he's showing me the messages 12 bodies to loot excellent i hope that consistently keeps working are you stuck Try this again. Can't get to a body. Okay. Oh, here. Move over there. Or not. <laughs> Seven bodies to loot, right? You just stuck on one? Am I like parked on top of a body or something? Can't get to a body. Okay. This is Arma AI for you, ladies and gentlemen. There, he finally canceled. Getting more stuff now. Or it's because of the stuff just being in the way. Like you can't figure out how to get around these bags or something. All right. 
Well, there's a bunch of bodies out here. Is that outside the compound? Okay, we'll come over there. Our container has to be within 20 meters. All right. So this is why I usually do this kind of stuff off camera, because as you can see, it's very fiddly, buggy. It's just generally a pain in the butt. Ten bodies to loot. Yeah, I think he's just getting confused around the stuff there. And I think he's stuck again. He's trying to trying to get inside the compound. And it's not working out. We'll keep trying. Getting some delicious gear here. mouse cursor go there it is yeah, he's getting that stuff you can see on the map like where he's going kind of handy see where he goes after he gets these close ones yeah he can't get in there so I might have to get those manually all right Get in, dude. It's all right. I'll go get these manually if we can get citizens. The K Mafia. All right. There's a gang nearby. Where's that at? Over west of town. Okay. Oh, that's right. I can't put stuff in there because it's full. Grab an empty carryall. He can overfill it, but I can't. That is, uh, this is level three. This will take it. I have no room for any of that stuff. Do I have another empty backpack I can take? And an assault pack. This MX, VGs, helmet, video on the watch are worth some money. I think if, if I've interacted with the inventory at all, then he won't go grab them. Oh no, is he just throwing those backpacks out on the ground? It is. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> right there. I don't think he'll pick up backpacks. Can I? No, 
I can't stuff him with this either. He's still bugged out because he can't reach anything. There's this other body. Let me interact with him. And then maybe Rosolo won't try. He'll go get the other stuff. Oops. Nope. Wrong button. Uh, he's still trying to get these in here. Well, we might just have to take what we got and scoot. But that'll be it for this episode, I think. We got the fob cleared. Learned about a checkpoint. Oh man, there's a bunch of bodies down there too. So I'm going to do some more cleanup. And next episode, we'll keep trying to take over places. We may end up trying to hit that military base. Um, where's the stability? Yeah, it's still 25, so I may have to go and uh, kill the cops. So this gang will keep the stability going down. But yeah, me and Rosola are going to pick up some more loot and head back to base. Thanks, as always, for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.